Signs, chants, and cheers radiated from the corner of Wood Street this morning. Protesters gathered to show their opposition to the proposed changes to the bus routes, specifically ones running from the Mon Valley to downtown. Megan Schiller explains why getting to and from Pittsburgh may be soon more difficult for these commuters. The bus line is a lifeline. That is the chant that they sang out all morning long. And it's also the gist of the stories that we heard from everyone who says they'll be affected by these proposed changes. Public transit is our right. We will not give up this fight. The main effect that it will have is that it will, it will cost me a lot more time and energy. I mean, I already build in time in case a bus doesn't show up. But if they cut the service by 45%, it, it means I'm going to have to build in a lot more time. Cindy Paulding doesn't just ride the bus, she relies on the bus. I use it for everything. I, I don't have the luxury of getting into a car, you know, uh, so buses are it. Paulding lives each day with a disability, like many others rallying Friday morning on Wood Street. They're protesting a possible 45% reduction in direct trips from the Mon Valley to downtown. So we see that the, the impact is going to be greatest on communities like Swissvale, Rankin, Braddock, Duquesne, McKeesport, Homestead. That additional transfer in Oakland for folks to continue downtown is an insurmountable barrier for riders with disabilities for seniors. Plus, Ween says it would double the trip costs for riders who pay with cash, something Deborah Green can't afford. That's like $5.50, $11 per day. You know, and it's kind of hard, especially on an older person like myself. From the streets to the packed meeting room, protesters laid eyes for the first time on the Port Authority's new CEO, Catherine Kellerman. You in the back of the room are not here in this weather because you wanted to see me. There are issues ranging from fair enforcement to service in Mon Valley. Issues, she says, they'll begin working on in the coming weeks. Reporting downtown, Megan Schiller, KDKA TV News.